Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Veganism is a choice. It's a choice that an adult can make regarding their own personal intake of food. Some people choose to do it for health reasons, although why, it's actually quite unhealthy. And some choose to do it for, should we say, philosophical reasons, in that they don't like abusing animals. Vegetarianism, which is one thing, I can more or less understand. Um, there's certainly a lot of religious context around it and spiritual context around it, and a desire, like I say, not to harm animals. But veganism takes it a lot further, to the point where it almost is a mental illness, I feel, because you get so driven with obsession um, that you become blind to other things. And the irony is most vegans aren't, because they eat a lot of things that really don't count as veganism. Tomatoes or potatoes, for example, both of those are not vegan because those plants eat animals. They're both carnivorous plants. Uh, or that they will eat plants that have come from a long way away and have therefore used dead animals in the form of oil to get them. So you can't really draw a line. It then is a matter of um, really a mild, I will grant it as mild, but a mild mental illness when you go so far as to become vegan rather than just a vegetarian. But it becomes dangerously, dangerously obsessive when you enforce that belief on others and in particular on children who during the most formative years need as much varied nutrition as is possible to get. And when you force your belief onto a child and that child then passes away through malnutrition, you deserve all you get. And that's what's happened. We're going to take a look at this article. Murder by malnutrition. Vegan mother 39 is jailed for life for causing the death of her 18 month old son after he died weighing just 17 pounds after following a strict diet of only raw fruit and vegetables because she is mentally ill and incapable of raising a child properly. Sheila O'Leary's son Ezra died in September 2019 at the age of 18 months, weighing only 17 pounds. Ezra had been fed raw fruit and vegetables as well as breast milk and was severely malnourished. And the thing is, with breast milk from vegans, lacks a lot of the nutrition that normal diets would have in breast milk. O'Leary and her husband Ryan followed a strict vegan diet and their other children, daughters aged three and five, were also severely ill and had dental problems. O'Leary was found guilty in June of murder and on Monday a court in Fort Myers sentenced her to a life in prison. Ryan O'Leary will go on trial later this year for his role in the baby's death. And I hope that they get as long time in prison as they can possibly get. What they have done is the most severe form of abuse that you can imagine. Starvation is a terrible, terrible death. And they have done that to a child because of their insane, obsessive belief in, a va in any kind of method an unhealthy diet because if you have to take supplements and pills to supplement your diet you know that diet isn't good enough so Sheila O'Leary who's 39 whose family followed a strict vegan diet was convicted in June on the six charges uh, and then sentenced today as I say for life in prison um, she showed no emotion as the sentence was read out and told the judge she did not wish to make a, sent a statement no, probably too weak to make one. Uh, her husband is awaiting trial on the same charges and you know, they don't, they've blanked out the face of the children, which is quite right. Um, investigators said the couple who lived in Cape Coral told them the family ate only raw fruits and vegetables, although the toddler was also fed breast milk. The 18-month-old boy weighed 17 pounds and was the size of a seven-month-old child when he died. The couple had two other children, aged three and five, who were also malnourished uh, and Amira Fox, the state attorney, said 
they endured extreme neglect because you're not feeding them correctly. Now, I know there'll be vegetarians and vegans watching this video, uh, but I'm not going to draw any bones about it. I don't think veganism is healthy for anyone. It most definitely, certainly isn't healthy for children. And even vegetarianism is unhealthy for children. Uh, there are proteins, lipids, um, various enzymes, things like that, acids, that are found only in meat that are necessary for the full healthy development of human children, especially mental development. Taurines, for example, um, they help with mental development. They, they act on the brain and a, a diet low in taurines amongst children can reduce their IQ by as much as 20 points. There's also the physical, uh, the physical growth. Um, weak teeth, as mentioned there, but weak bones, all sorts of all sorts of growth problems by not giving a child a full, balanced, rounded, nutritionally um, sufficient upbringing. Now, as soon as you hit adulthood, I have no qualms or any options. You, you're free. You're free as an adult to eat what you like, regardless of how I judge you. I don't judge you for eating what you eat. Um, I may think veganism is wrong. But I'm not going to stop you being a vegan. But if you are trying to enforce veganism on a child, then I most certainly would inform the authorities and have that child taken from you. And indeed, in Italy, making a child have a vegetarian diet, not even a vegan diet, a vegetarian diet, will result in the parents being prosecuted and the child taken into care to ensure that it is given a, super, you know, a sufficient diet. Um, anyway, they, they were, uh, this was down in 7, 2019. So paramedics pronounced the toddler dead at the scene. And they also examined the couple's three older children. The pair were charged in December 19 uh, after the cause of death was revealed. No photographs have ever been released showing what state the child was in when he died. You don't need to release the photographs on that. We've all seen them before because we've all seen pictures of Belson. We've all seen pictures of Sobibor. We've all seen pictures of of Auschwitz. Uh, but prosecutors at Sheila's trial dis described an emaciated child who constantly cried. She chose to disregard his cries. She didn't need a scale to see his bones. She didn't need a scale to hear his cry, Sarah Miller, Assistant State Attorney, said. And look, there she is. She looks malnourished. Her hair thin and lank because of lack of any kind of oils in her diet, any kind of proper growth. And of course, it, this, this, this diet does affect mental judgment. And that's the problem. You get parents who go on a, on a vegan diet and they actually are mentally insufficient because the vegan diet affects the mind and affects the thought processes. Uh, the couple also had a three-year-old and a five-year-old who were severely malnourished. Their skin was yellow and one suffered such poor dental hygiene that their teeth were black. Sheila also has an 11-year-old daughter from a previous relationship and her health was considerably better than that of the other children due to her spending time with her father in Virginia and eating a proper diet. The three children were fed a diet by their mother that consisted mostly of mangoes, bananas, av bananas avocados and rambutans. Let me tell you, avocados are not vegan. So any vegan who eats an avocado, you're a hypocrite. You're not a vegan. It's unclear if they ever saw a doctor. I doubt if they did, because any doctor looking at that would immediately have called the authorities. Ezra was born at home and had never been to a physician. According to the police, on the day he died, the toddler had been nursing when he started to, struggling to breathe. Well, I feel sorry for Ezra. What a short, terrible life you've had, and all down to your terrible, awful, stupid, ignorant, criminally insane parents. And I hope they never get out of jail, but they probably will. And it's very sad. Anyway, I shall come up. I have nothing to add. It's sad. His suffering is over. Let's hope theirs is just beginning. Thank you for watching.